so this is what uh, ultra running looks like in the morning it's like five o'clock in the morning 5 30. everyone's sleeping oh, tough to get out of bed not easy not easy but uh, so I'm gonna take you on a training run this is what the early early wake up uh, looks like <sighs> getting my stuff ready it's still winter so it's uh, gonna have to put in a few extra layers going for a, for a base uh, base run uh, around 16 kilometers the goal of this uh, this early run is to try and uh, also dig deeper into that uh, that mental component um, of ultra running um, to put ourselves into discomfort during the training and the objective is to try and get back home in time for breakfast um, to be there with the kids so again it's all about uh, trying to trying to find that uh, that balance um, between the training um, work and the family so um, that's what it takes right early wake up calls not easy still super sleepy just had a quick shower to wake me up um, and now we're going out in the cold so <laughs> it's not really appealing but uh, that's what it takes I'm going to take you on my uh, my run uh, still dark outside so hopefully we'll see a, a nice sunrise so just before my run I'm gonna have one of these uh, cereal bars a new uh, new set that I ordered uh, just to give me a little uh, little something uh, before I uh, before I head out so I'm also taking a headlamp I'm taking also Something so that so when I'm on the roads, people can see me. Taking my uh, my pack, the water, and just having this just before I head out. So one of the aims is also not to uh, not to wake up anybody, since everyone's still uh, sleeping uh, deeply at the moment. Ready to, uh, to head out now. Here we go. So, this is an early morning run. Sun's just about getting up. It's pretty fresh still. And again, it's not easy. I'm trying to balance everything. It's it's always a bit of a headache I'm trying to get enough sleep to wake up early and even if you don't have enough sleep try and force yourself to to get up the most difficult part is just uh, getting that first uh, step out of bed then once you're out after 10 minutes it's slightly easier. Thing is, is that sense of accomplishment you get of having achieved something so early in the day sets that mindset for the rest of the day. Puts you in a winning, winning mentality. You know, you've won already a battle. Whilst most people are still sleeping, you've headed out and already achieved uh, one great thing for the day and the thing is there will never really be a good time to go running there will always be a good excuse not to head out and the same thing goes with life we always have a good excuse to not do something it's never the right moment thinking in life I think there's never 
ever a right moment for anything. Sometimes you just gotta jump off the ledge just as you have to get one foot out of bed for training. So it's all a, it's all a mindset. And I think uh, ultra running, I like ultra running because it builds that mindset to confront difficulty, to gain that confidence and believe in yourself that you can actually do it. That's, uh, that's the beauty of, of this sport that I discovered. You think you're not capable, but you are actually capable of much more than you think. I never would have imagined being able to complete my first ultra. This was Speaks 100, unlimited training, but it is possible. I like running in the mornings because it's so calm. There's nobody around. Life is just slower. Peaceful. So we're here for around 16 kilometers. Now we're heading into the woods, my favorite section. So we're going on a pretty easy rhythm today. The idea is just to get some uh, some base training in. The thing is, with our limited times as parents and as full time, you know, employees with a life on the side, you know, it's not easy to squeeze in all the training, you know, be a good uh, husband, be a good father be a good employee and squeeze in ultra running in between it's not easy so sometimes it takes these early well, often <laughs> takes these early morning runs before anyone's up grinding through that difficulty <sighs> having a bit of a rest now <sighs> so even when you don't feel like running that's when you got the run to run the most try and get used to that discomfort kilometer 83 oh. having a bad phase now oh man yeah not feeling great at all ah life is difficult we run into many obstacles it's not gonna make a, it's not there to make it easy for us so putting ourselves through these uh, sort of ordeals if we can call them that way many challenges it builds that mental strength but we probably well in my case I want to pass on to my, I want to pass on to my kids. But you got to find in life. There's no easy way. You can't choose the easy path. You got to choose the difficult path to make life easy. I really feel uh, uh, nauseated. That's tough, man. And this is a sort of indirect way of living that, living those values. So I think in life, life in trail running, you've got to set yourself objectives. You've got to find yourself a purpose, a guiding star that you can turn to when times are difficult and find that energy to grind through. That's it. It's not easy. But you gotta try and dig deep into yourself and, and see, you know, what ignites, 
what ignites that flame within you what is it that makes you tick and burn that flame deep within you for me it's it's my children and I want to set an example lead by example you know you got to grind through the pain you got it's very difficult to convey those values in words so the best thing I found was to show them in practice what it means those early wake up calls those early runs that dedication without impacting their daily routine you know they might not realize it right now but as they grow up that image hopefully will stay within them so that's my flame that motivates me that early wake up call it's not very pleasant at all suffer you know that bed so warm so comfortable ah, just half an hour more sleep you know it doesn't matter uh, that's what makes the whole difference that half an hour that weak link in you that is trying to lure you back into comfort you gotta kill that voice that voice is the one that leads you to do nothing but to kick the can down the road half an hour is not much you'd say but it really makes all the difference between a mental strength that can deal with setbacks and a mindset that will crumble when the going gets tough and by no means it's easy for me I'm still working on that I still have my weak points but I'm trying to work every day to make myself better and this sport is definitely one that forges character especially in the training Starting to ache in places I've never ate before. So, you know, when you have, when you get that early wake up call, and you have that feeling of wanting to go back to bed, just think that everyone else has that feeling. Everyone. Now, are you going to be different to those who crumble? under the pressure of the beds calling you back in or are you going to be part of the few who kick themselves out of bed and go and live your life that you want to run you want to lead sun is rising now it's just behind the Alps probably the destination, hopefully one of my races one of these days. That Mont Blanc Massif taunting me in the height of its 4,800 and something meters staring down at me every day like inviting me to go and run that race. So I'm trying to devise a plan to be able to do it in 2023. Little bit of tourism along the way, a landmark. This is the Center for European Nuclear Research. So we're currently in March 2022. You know what's going on in the world. Uh, this is not uh, nuclear weapons, this is particle research. Uh, probably the, one of the top research facilities in the world. Uh, they're the ones who were just trying to discover the Big Bang or what happened before the Big Bang, about the Big Bang. So this uh, facility is sitting right on the border between France and Switzerland. And in front of me I have the Alps. Behind me I have the Jura mountain range where I usually do my training in the, in the summer.
around halfway. So there we have the Jura mountain range. Pretty cool for short day skiing trips and uh, spring and summer hiking. in Switzerland. Usually a lot of them make wine. They have their little vineyard. Now we're doing the uphills. It's going to be a steeper section. That's, uh, that's another wine making place. Up here we have another little castle. The ball of fire is slowly coming above the, uh, the Alps. Wow, I feel really privileged to be able to witness this. This morning's when I'm running, I see it. Uh, you better get a better view in a minute. There we go. There she is, rising above the Alps. Majestic. Wow. So beautiful. so cold as it uh, has been the uh, previous days so not bad friends to whom I say hello every morning when I come running past here tick in the box for the day first achievement feels great ready for a day's work now but before that heading back for breakfast with the kids hopefully I get there before they wake up depending on the days sometimes they get up earlier sometimes later let's hope that today it's a later day and uh, I can have a, I can catch them uh, before, uh, before they get up for breakfast. I think there's no, no better way to start a day with the first achievement before anyone else has uh, kicked off their day. So you've got a competitive advantage on the rest of the people by having done great for your body but also great for your mind puts you in the right mindset as I said before it's all about discipline determination and dedication like in life don't choose the easy path force yourself down the difficult route and never give up hey one hour and 28 minutes Easy going. 
Hey, did you just get up? Yeah, did you just get up? Hug for daddy. Yeah, yeah I can lend it to you. Yeah.